Today, we're gonna show you how to make one of the best showstopper meals as we cook a whole bear shank, also known as Thor's hammer. First step is to fill your smoker with your favorite pellets. We're using hickory pellets today. Turn your smoker on and set the temp to 220 degrees and adjust the smoke level to five. As the smoker is coming up to temp, add some butcher string to your shank, just so everything stays together and cooks evenly. The shank comes from the lower part of the legs. This cut is often overlooked or thought of as way too tough to eat, but when cooked right, it actually becomes one of the most tender cuts of meat off the whole animal. Season your shank with your favorite rub. We're using a Beijing barbecue blend for this cook, but use whatever you like. Rub it in well so the whole shank is coated. Throw the shank into the smoker with the side that has more meat facing down and let it smoke for three hours. After three hours, remove the shank and place it meat side down into a deep roasting tray with a defined lip. Add six to eight cups of warm beef stock and cover the tray with tin foil, making sure to crimp the edges really well. We want to trap as much steam as possible, which is vital in breaking down the meat. Put the tray in the smoker and add a temperature probe into the thickest part of the shank and let the shank braise until the internal temp reaches 203 to 210 degrees, which should take between three and a half to five hours. You want to be able to pierce the meat without any resistance when done. While your shank is braising, get some potatoes in a pot and bring it to a boil. For an extra kick of flavor, boil them in half water and half beef or chicken stock. When they're soft enough to mash, remove and start making mashed potatoes. We first like to use a ricer to break the potatoes down. Then add some butter, cream cheese, and salt and pepper. Give everything a good stir and then add a little cream or milk and continue to stir until everything is well incorporated. When the shank has reached between 203 and 210 degrees internal temp, it should be done braising. Remove the shank, place it on a baking sheet, tent with foil, and let it rest for 30 to 60 minutes. As you let your shank rest, it's time to make your gravy. Pour the braising liquid into a pan and bring it to a hard simmer. Let the juices reduce by half, stirring occasionally, and then add a slurry made up of cornstarch and water, which will help thicken your gravy. For the biggest wow factor, get a large serving dish loaded up with the mashed potatoes, and after removing the butcher shrinks, top with the whole shank and cover it all in the hot and rich beef gravy. Talk about a showstopper of a meal. This recipe turns this tough cut of meat into tender, delicious meat. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope you give this recipe a try with some of your own wild game at home or in the field. Be sure to write in the comments what you want us to cook next. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video.